Hey guys, Dan Heilman back with another Eternal Evolution video. Today we're checking out the new patch. Uh, we got a new patch yesterday. We have this new mode here that's kind of interesting. However, um, if you quit it and if you use any of these options, it takes your ticket. So don't hit leave. Don't do anything. Just finish the battle while you're in here. I made the mistake yesterday of leaving and it just didn't give me anything, right? So it's kind of a fun little mode. Uh, you can upgrade your different things. So the very first thing you got to do is you probably got to grab at least one person. You're probably going to want to grab a damage dealer, so don't grab the healers. Um, you grab Isaac, maybe Fatty. Probably Isaac. Let's grab Isaac just kind of for fun. Uh, you drop him in here. You hit deploy and you get an attack there and boom that's that now when you get here you got some options right i got all one stars i can't get two stars yet unless i upgrade so i have five points so i can upgrade for two and then pick for three so if i hit upgrade now i can pick one for three i'm gonna grab um nebula ne nebula sorry and we're gonna grab him we're gonna drop him in there um hit deploy again you just got to be kind of over the power, I believe. Um, so now what we're going to do, we got four points. So I have 3,000 points. The boss has 4,000 points. I think that means I can't beat it unless I'm over, I think. So what I'm going to do is I have to spend at least three to grab a hero. So I am going to grab... And I, I haven't tested if you can put two of the same hero together. I'm not quite sure on that. But we're going to grab Nero, another vanguard i believe you get bonuses um for having yeah here we go so now it says cp plus 10 percent because i have two vanguards okay so now you can see my cp is plenty above what i could do now is i could either grab another hero um or i could lock i could refresh i could do whatever if i refresh it's not useful for me um i can't upgrade so i guess i could grab another hero let's just grab another one puts me right down to zero but then that gives me a little bit more buffer here so maybe next time i can upgrade and then grab hit deploy um i don't think it matters if you kill it before your fourth hits or anything like that so now i have seven so i can upgrade for one it was unfortunate i didn't really get anything that useful I'll, i will grab another now i can grab one for three so what we'll do is we'll grab one because we want to use up all our coins before we attack the boss i'm well above it which is good I don't think you get any bonuses for passing or anything like that. Okay, so now I have some healers and stuff, which I don't really care about. I don't know how they work. I don't, I've never, I think healers don't really matter. I think it's just, just straight up attack power. So I really don't think that even matters. But, um, so here's what we could do. We're already, oh, we're not above the boss. We're not above the boss. Let me test it out. So let's, uh, let's hit upgrade. Um, I don't have enough. I'm going to lock because I want to keep, I have a couple triple S's in here, so I'm gonna hit lock so that I can purchase them next time. We're gonna hit deploy. I'm below the power. I mean, I can't skip though, can I? So I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice, right? I don't have a choice, I don't think here. What does the set do? Um, oh yeah, here's this, okay, cool. So you do get different things if you match them together. Um, you can see I have three of one faction and I have three vanguards. Let's just see what happens, let's see what happens. I. Maybe it won't finish it. And then I think I lose if I don't finish it. Yeah, okay. So I made a mistake. Now I'm dead. I got defeated. Now it basically starts over. And you got to do the whole thing again. I've done this twice already. Why do I only have... Why is this I only used one? I must have got an extra thing there. Um, okay. All right. Kind of an interesting little mini game we got going on. Let's see what else they added here. We got the check-in uh, stuff that we've had for a while now. Okay, we got some carnival, carnival, anniversary carnival. We got some new stuff going on. Uh, make sure you're grabbing your bounties, um, at least claiming them every day, because you can only claim three per day. So make sure you're at least claiming them. You can finish them at a later date. We got detail gathering going on. We still got the light up Halloween stuff going on. Um, Jamuzo Ball. We got the mirror event that started yesterday. So if you're doing summons, now is probably a good time to do this. Um, you got five more days to do it because it's kind of the only way you can get these astral recruitment cards and you do also get a free copy of the new hero um i haven't really seen his kit so far so let's kind of go through the kit real quick and then we'll kind of finish this up just want to do a short impression video on the patch today in the new game mode so all right what do we got going on so let's go to detailed uh, ultimate pulls out his bloodied Espadon, what even is that? And slashes three times. Each slash deals damage equal to 400 in a fan shape area. Isn't this a hunter? Oh, it's an assassin, duh. Okay, 
Um, the last one was a hunter. Look at how cool the arms are, man. He's got a freaking sword going through him. He looks freaking sweet. Okay, so he does a fan-shaped AoE. Um, at the end, he lunges at the closest enemy with the lowest HP and does 1,700 attack. That's a lot. Is immune to control effects during skill activation. It is uh, calculated immediately and cannot be de delayed. So that's like for the vanguards who have um, the prism amulet. They can delay damage, so apparently cannot do that. Each time dead silence lands a crit, reduces the target energy. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, dead silence enhancement each slash increases the crit damage. Okay. Teleports to the target with the lowest HP and a 9 meter radius and strikes it with a hit three times. Um, deals damage. 25% chance to stun based on accuracy. Another hero with accuracy. Every freaking hero needs accuracy. That's kind of funny. Okay. So then you use this infernal grip dealing damage equal to 800% of attack to all surrounding enemy units. Reduces the healing effect and shield effectiveness. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, at the start of the combat or after each revival. 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 Samuel takes 95% less damage as effect gradually decrease, decreases. Wow, when he dies, he's revived. Can only get revived one time per battle. Cool, he's got a revive as well. Call uh, the maximum number of revivals goes up to two. Okay. Um, when he's EX30, he gets two revives. Cool. 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 Okay. Um, he's got crit damage instead of crit rate. You don't see many with crit damage in their talents. Okay. Seems pretty cool. Um, seems pretty cool. We're going to have to do some summons, uh, maybe in another video for him. See if we can get anything cool there. Um, let's see if we, okay, we haven't done any of that yet. So that's about that. Uh, what else do we get going on here? I haven't really reviewed the patch notes. Let's kind of go through and just skim through them real quick and see, um, see what else they added. Am I missing anything? Any big changes? Why can I not find the patch notes? There they are. Let's go. What do we got going on here? So announcements. Um, this is a couple days ago. We got patch notes. Um, we got Samael. Very religious name there. Details. Uh, Jim Bell, Premium Development, Bounty, Digital War. The first fun mini game is online. Digital War. You can buy cards. Challenge. Um, yeah. You know, honestly, it's kind of fun little mini game. I don't mind it at all. It's kind of fun. Uh, adjusted Hell Arena. So, okay. The, on November 13th, the season will include Spiritual Leap. In the current season, two seconds after the start of Hell Arena Battle, clears the energy and rage of all units on the battlefield. When a hero on the battlefield teleports or charges, then recover 100 Okay, so I guess you're just trying to use teleporters and chargers now. Okay, added eight new trophies, which can be attained in the Hell Arena. Oh, they added some new in the shop. Okay, we'll take a look at those. Optimize the main interface of the collection. A new mode called Guild Expedition is coming soon. Soon, <laughs> stay tuned. Fix the issue where the ranged heroes would occasionally walk in front of the boss in Crimson Rot where there's no puppet. Okay, fix an issue where the battle would not be settled under certain circumstances. Um, idle battle confirmation, blah blah blah. Okay, they added some stuff to the shop. Let's go check the shop, the Hell Arena shop. Let's see what they added. Um, Hell Arena, Hell Arena, Hell, Hell, Hell Arena. Where is Hell Arena? Oh, I'm in the wrong shop. I'm in the wrong shop. I'm in the wrong shop. Okay, let's go to the correct shop. Let's go to here, um, shop. Okay, here we go. That's what I really wanted. Okay, here we go. Hey, look at that. We do have some new, um, we do have some new ones. Look at that. All right, all right. Okay, I've already purchased all, most of these. Um, yep, yeah, sure have. Already pur purchased most of those for the black cards. Um, it's unfortunate we can't get any of these other ones unless you get the red coins, which you, uh, I still haven't got a single one yet. So yeah, that's pretty much that. I guess, uh, that's it for the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Just wanted to kind of show the new mini game, talk about the patch notes real quick. Um, nothing amazing. The celebration's pretty fun. We got some new heroes. We got lots of stuff going on. Um, Ooh, whose skin is that? Oh, I haven't seen the skin. Rickard skin. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Sweet. Dread Armor Firefly. Ha. Huh. Looks pretty cool. Man, they do a good job with skins. They really do a good job with skins. Unfortunately, though, um, let's go back to the skin shop. Skin shop. 
Um, what's up with this? How come there's literally only <laughs> two skins that a lot of people probably already have? Um, I thought there'd be more skins. It's literally called the outfit shop. Oh, another thing they added in the dismissal shop, which is really nice. They finally gave something for these, right? These astral coin, even these, uh, do they give anything for the little coins? No, not really. The little coins are still 100,000% useless. No one ever needs food in this game. However, they added some stuff in the purple shop not too long ago. They ordered, they added these in here. They added these in here. Um, and then they also added these in here, which is quite nice. A thousand. Um, I have 1200 from dismissing triple S's. Now, I'm kind of torn. I think you probably should be buying these, I would think. Um, these are nice to give some guild collection type stuff, but they added some more stuff in here, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I think I need to start buying these just so I can start finishing the SP heroes. Um, now that I'm free to play, the SPs are a lot harder to get. So, oh, they added, um, this is new. Okay, that is new, okay. Uh, they did a little bit of stuff in here in these shops, a the competitive shop. I haven't really been doing, uh, you know, Summit Arena. I haven't been really trying very hard in that one, so not much going on here. Oh, I should probably grab this. I haven't seen this. Refinement Diamond Cost. I, that's interesting. I should probably grab that. I don't have that. Um, that's probably a decent one to have. I need to probably be buying these. I think I have these two finished already, um, so I don't need to buy these, but I think I should be buying some of these while I have the shop. I have not been uh, purchasing these, and they have a cooldown on them, so I guess I need to be purchasing these, so... Okay, that's pretty much it for the video. Just want to kind of go through the patch notes and stuff. Uh, oh, we should probably be grabbing these as well. Yeah, we should probably grab... I have so many of those points. We should probably grab in those. Um, I'm going to see if I need a couple. I think I might need one more Moriani copy. So we might be buying some of those. But that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Just want to kind of go through the patch notes. What changed? Um, yeah. Added more stuff. Added more heroes. There is still, you know, a good amount of stuff to do in the game for sure. Um, there's been no like massive major changes recently, but kind, but kind of besides the SPs. But other than that, uh, I'm still playing the game, still enjoying the game, and uh, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like and the subscribe button. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys.